light. It's seed, not like the world seed, but it's spiritual seed. And something just happens to you when you get into his presence. How do you get into his presence? Decree the word, right? Gets all over you, starts reproducing in you, starts transforming you, gives you the ability to share it and give it away. It's freely given. Healing can get all over you. Start declaring scriptures for healing. I mean, the blessing can get all over you. I mean, this is the truth. And there's real power in this, what we're talking about today. And so this theme is seen over and over in scriptures. Uh, our Lord, uh, you know, gave us a declaration, you know, in Matthew 6.10, your kingdom come, your will be done in heaven as in earth as it is in heaven. Amen. We're planting. Wherever you, where you go, plant heaven. Plant faith. Plant healing. Plant salvation. Now we get to plant. It's a whole lot better, more productive to plant life than to plant death, too. Yes. And we can do that. We can overcome evil by planting good. Amen. We're all called to be, you know, laborers in his kingdom, right? In his vineyard, right? Some of us are planting, some of us are watering, you know, but God gives the increase. And uh, so, praise the Lord. Last week we were touching on the importance of that daily manna, getting it that daily manna. Today we're, we're seeing how to bring it into our life. Keeping the testimony of God. And get into those scriptures, and when he gives it to you, start thinking about it, chew on it, you know, let it revolve in your mind, let it get in your heart, start walking it out, talking it out, and you're going to see God come, you know, in a powerful way in your life. It's just the truth. It really is. And, uh, and so we see that God's intent is not only to reveal his heart, but to bring it into manifest, manifestation, into operation in your life. And our Lord, he demonstrated both aspects of the prophetic. He really did. He, he really showed us the way to follow after him. He was the way. I mean, everything he did, his very words, his very actions created, uh, created uh, an opportunity for you to do the very same thing. I mean, it, there was importance. Everything he did, he did as a man. We need to realize that that's important. Yeah. A lot of people think, well, he was God, the Son of God. And I'm not saying he was not the Son of God, but he came as a man, yeah. as Son of Man, and uh, he was in right relationship with God. He was without sin. He dealt with the sin issue by atoning for it on the cross, so there's no, there's nothing that can hinder us if we'll just get in his presence, get cleansed, and start speaking those words, following them through the Spirit, we can bring God into the circumstances. Amen. I mean, the very moment our Lord spoke, something happened. Yes. People got healed. He could just speak the word. Yes. It brought God. I mean, there was a chain of events started happening when, God, when Jesus spoke. And, and his very actions, all that he did, created the opportunity for you to come after him and, and, and live by keeping his testimony. You know, the keeping of his testimony, what it actually does, it creates the opportunity, opens the heavens for the very anointing that, that brought it about in the first place to, to be reproduced in your life. To be reproduced. See, you see the importance of it. I mean, miracles happen. Uh, we can see, I, we've seen this so often. This is why the Apostle Paul says, pursue love in 1 Corinthians 14, 1. Desire the gifts, but especially that you may prophesy. And, uh, and so we've seen things happen in our lives. We see them in Scripture. And when we remember these things, you know, God is connected to us, into that, I'm telling you. And, and you, can, you can release healing. Uh, we, I just see this happen. We've seen it. One lady, one young lady, we, we got to pray for a little girl, 14-year-old girl at a convention. And, um, and she received the Lord as her Savior, and she had something going on with her head. We didn't know it was a headache. And we prayed against that. Very simple prayer. And later on, we found out it disappeared. It was a tumor. It disappeared on, on the testing. And from that testimony, 
another person got healed of the tumor, another person got healed, it went down the line. Why? Because the power is in the testimony. That's right. I mean, you guys can carry power in your testimony. How many want to see some of that? Amen. And so that's, uh, I hope that, that helps us to, to uh, you know, to be encouraged to go in. I mean, go after these things. Amen. And keep them, and it's going to keep you. You know, in the days ahead, we're going to need these things. And uh, so I'm going to stop there. Lord, I thank you for everybody here. I thank you for the angelic realm yes. that's here, you know, carrying out those words that you put on our heart, you know, to keep the word of God. To, and we thank you for the angels, and we thank you for your kingdom, which is at hand. I thank you for everybody listening today. I pray that grace uh, would just impact our hearts and encourage us to go on with you and, and into maturity, into the fullness of to bring the kingdom in the name of Jesus, we give you the glory. Yes. Amen. 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 And, uh, we